So we've come inside the wine cellar so that you guys can take a better look at the unit. So this is the grill. The unit is behind the grill. We have the RM coil recessed into the ceiling. It's a, a box they created so that the unit can physically sit in there. The louver feature is something that's very important when putting a unit behind a grill or behind any space. You want to allow as much airflow into the space as possible without restricting any of it. And the way to achieve that is by doing a louvered grill. The grill is a removable grill so that in the future if we have to get in here and service the unit we can do so. This section of the racking was also designed so that we can physically get in there and be able to access it or if in future when the life of the unit has come to an end needs to be replaced we can do that as well. So what we have up here in the ceiling is an RM evaporator coil from US salvage system. The RM coil is the component that normally sits inside your room. It's got to be within the space unless it's a ducted system. Outside we have the condensing unit. The refrigerant that travels between the condensing unit outside and the evaporator coil inside is what picks up the heat. So the refrigerant goes to two stages. Uh, from a vapor stage to a liquid stage. In here, it comes in as a liquid into the evaporator coil, goes back out to the condensing unit as a vapor once it's boiled off. There's two refrigeration pipes. One, your liquid line coming in and your vapor line going out. Normally referred to as a liquid line, your high, which is your evaporator line, and your low side, which is your suction line. Line set is what connects the two uh, components. In this particular installation the light set was ran to the side of the house. The distance approximately from here to there was about 35 feet. Generally we can go up to 100 feet. But it is recommended for optimum performance of the equipment that you stay within the 50 feet. But 100 feet is no problem as long as you size out the line set correctly. The further the distance the, the bigger the line set. The wine cellar is pretty much centered in the house and that could be a challenge sometimes because there's no exterior walls, there's no direct space where we can just immediately go out and not be so intrusive to the rest of the house. But this application in particular went very very easy in the sense that not a lot of drilling or opening of walls was needed which can be sometimes an issue or a problem because when you have to open up more walls it's more work, it's more space we're taking up for the customer. And we try to worry around from that. So the space between the two floors was enough room for us to make it into the next room. It was all access from here, from the first floor and the ceiling. And once we get, went into the next room we did not have to open up any walls anymore. We did not have to uh, do any kind of demoing other than two holes. One to go into the room and one to get out into the room to the exterior wall. This is the cellar. If you was to come in here you wouldn't be able to see where the unit is located. That's the, the importance of it sometimes with the customers. They, they don't want to look at the refrigeration equipment. They want it to all just kind of blend in to the space and, and that's why we went with this unit here. Um, we can do that with the units and very easily to hide yeah, especially when it's recessed like that into the ceiling. It doesn't take space up in the racking area, especially when you're limited with space and you want to try to maintain that bottle count up. This would be a great alternative of cooling your white cellar without taking space. Mm -hmm.